welcome to our third week of Bible Buddies with Miss Erin. I am so excited to get to talk to you about our the third day of creation today. I feel like we've already learned so much and there's still so, so much we can learn together. So let's do a quick check to see if we remember what we learned in our first two weeks of videos. Our Bible stories come from the book of Genesis. That's right. And on the first day of creation, God made day and night. Great job. And on the second day of creation, God separated sky from water. Awesome. You are professionals. This week, we have a new scripture to focus on that's going to show us more about what God created, this time on the third day. Genesis chapter 1 verses 9 to 13 says, Then God said, Let the water under the sky be gathered into one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. God called the dry land earth, and the gathering of the water he called seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let the earth produce vegetation, seed-bearing plants and fruit trees on the earth, bearing fruit with seed in it according to their kinds. And it was so. The earth produced vegetation, seed-bearing plants according to their kinds, and trees bearing fruit with seed in it according to their kinds. And God saw that it was good. Evening came, and then morning, the third day. Wow. Every time I read this scripture, I think of all the wonderful and amazing things that I see when I step outside. When God separated the seas from the dry land and made the earth, he created so much space for us to have all of the beautiful flowers and plants that we have today. And that's just what he did. He didn't create barren land. He created a beautiful scene for us to look at. And not only did God create beautiful things for us to look at, he made some of those things turn into delicious fruits. All of those pretty flowers and blossoms on the trees in the spring turn into oranges and apples, peaches and plums. So many good fruits. And these fruits and plants have seeds and we can plant new trees and plants and watch the world fill up with beauty. How awesome is that? All of our favorite fruits and vegetables and flowers and plants and oh my gosh! Oh, they were all made on this third day. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Since that takes us to the end of our Bible study, that means it's time to work on our creation book. So go ahead and get out your creation book and your favorite thing to color with. So far, we've worked on our cover, the first day, and the second day. Today, we're going to be illustrating the third day. At the very top of the page, just like the last two days, it says, on the third day, God made in block letters. If you want to, you can color them in. I made mine this pretty teal color, because that's my favorite color. It kind of matches the color of the sea. If we skip over that big box in the middle, we see that we have another line down at the bottom. What do you think we'll be writing on the line this week? You're right, we could write a lot, a lot of different things, but I think we should make it something that rhymes. What do you think? Yeah? All right, so we could write C's and trees. Doesn't that sound cool? All right, so here is a close up of how to spell C's and trees or you can get someone to help you. All right, so let's take a look back at our big box and brainstorm some different ideas of what we could draw in there this week. 
we know that God created the seas and the land with lots of plants and trees on the third day. What kind of plants might we draw? Hmm. Flowers, absolutely some flowers. Ooh, some trees. We could draw peach trees. We do love our peaches, yes. Mm hmm. 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 Trees, land, seas. All right, let me see what I can come up with. All right, here we go. some flowers and some water over here and a fruit tree there in the middle. All right, I think it would be your turn. Okay, so take some time and draw your favorite kind of plants and trees with lots of colors today in your big box. Take some time to color and create your page. Pause my video and take as much time as you need. I am super excited to see what kinds of plants and flowers and trees you all drew this week. If you want to share your art from your creation book, you can send them my way with a picture and a big smile. Now, if I remember correctly, back when we were together for Junior Church and for Children's Story, I know that one of our favorite songs to sing is Jesus Loves Me. So I thought that that could be our song for this week. Are you ready to sing along with me? Okay, here we go. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Let's close our time together with a prayer. God above, we thank you for another week of Bible Buddies that we have been able to spend together learning about your creation. We are surrounded by the beauty of your world every day and are grateful for family and friends that we have been blessed with as part of your time and our, your creation. Guide us through this next week until we can meet again. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you for spending some time with me today for Bible Buddies. I will see you next week. Goodbye.